Cashiers of Reddit, do you judge us customers by the products or quantity of products we buy? What are some stereotypes? I worked in a bookstore for several years and I absolutely judged people who insisted on paying an exact change, especially when there was a line. I actually had an older lady count out 195 pennies for a bookmark once only to come up a couple short and pay for it with a five. I worked at a CVS back when I was 19 during summer and college. The only customers I ever judged were those extreme couponers, people with 20 different membership cards buying a chain of shit in 60 different transactions and holding up the line for 30 minutes. Other than that I don't care. Only time I interrupted a customer was a guy who was trying to buy a tiny bottle of baby oil and condoms, and only because oil-based lubricants degrade latex. Hopefully I saved him from child support. I worked in a liquor store in 1991. This scraggly guy came in and got a six pack of Miller High Life cans. Now, this liquor store was in a nice part of town and most customers were genuine twats. This guy was polite, smiled, and was the first, all day, to treat me like a human. I had been hit hard all day with assholes. I looked at him and smiled and told him, genuinely, to have a great day, that he'd been my nicest customer today. He nodded and took his change. Then my manager comes running up. He pulled me to the window. This guy got into a limo, my manager, you didn't know who that was? Me, he was nice, got Miller High Life cans, my manager, that was F. King Neil Young, me, 1, that I didn't recognize him, 2, that he was the one guy who was nice to me that day, 3, I totally judge him internally on his beer choice when he first stepped up, sorry, Neil, but also, thanks for being a good human to me on a crappy day. I work at McDonald's. I don't judge unless you're just an asshole. Nearly got fired BC I accidentally stepped on some random dude's shoes and he decided that me saying sorry wasn't enough and that he wanted me to get down on my knees and brush his shoes off since I'd scuffed them. I told the prick that it wasn't gonna happen and he insisted on making a scene and pushing me so I grabbed him by his shirt collar and dragged him outside. When I let go he tried to swing at me so I closed the door and locked it. So yay unless you're a prick I don't judge. I worked in a small convenience store in a small town so about 60% of my customers were regulars. They were always pleased and surprised when I had their cigarettes waiting for them or reminded them they hadn't asked for ice if they normally got ice every day. With teens buying condoms I tried to be extra I'm not noticing what you're buying because some 16 year olds kind of cringe buying condoms from a 50 something woman. Kudos to you young man. I'd have paid for them if I thought that would increase the number buying them. The only time I ever felt the need to comment on someone's purchase was a guy buying one six-pack of Stella and a bunch of Milwaukee Best. I paused, and then had to ask if he had a friend he didn't like that wanted to share a beer or what the hell. He said he drank the Stella and then once he was drunk he might as well drink piss. I congratulated him on his cost-effectiveness. Worked in toy stores at an amusement park for children when I was 16 or so. I only ever judged people that bought one liter of still water for about 5 euros. Six dollars while there was free access to tap water. You might think tap water can be unhealthy but yeah, no, not here. We literally have stricter quality regulations for tap water than for bottled water. I mean, who buys a liter of water for 5 euros? When I was a cashier, I barely noticed what people bought most of the time. There was one guy though, who always came in and bought 4x40 pound boxes of bananas that I remember, and he said he only ate bananas and showed me an old photo of himself really fat every time I checked him out. I didn't judge him exactly. I just remember him as a notable customer. Thanks for listening. Subscribe for more daily videos.